Welcome to Mythos Theme Park in Lachi Pafo, Cyprus. Mythos Theme Park, the first theme park in Cyprus, is going to be operating from professional professional personnel and management team with vast experience in theme park business. Mythos Theme Park is going to operate for 9 months throughout the year, 272 days, from 10 p.m. until 11 a.m. The park will work as from 10 p.m. until 19 a.m., with all attractions and rides open to public and visitors, as well from 19.30 until 23 a.m., with a special entertainment live show, with theatrical music shows, operas, concerts, as well providing a five-star dinner meal, including in the package. Mythos Theme Park capacity is for 2,000 visitors per day for the day operation and for 700 visitors approximately for the night operation. Catering facilities include a self-service gourmet restaurant with Cypress dishes, a barbecue area and two light snacks, crepes and ice cream beverage coffee shops with total seating capacity of 800 guests. The catering team of the theme park can facilitate and organize special events for wedding, christenings, birthday parties, conference events and group parties at the premises for up to 1,000 guests at a time. This is the Cyprus Copper Mine train, one of the main rides of the park. It is a runaway train with old wagons of mining that goes through a designed copper mine with tunnels and copper mine working animated areas showing how the Cypriots were working hard to get the copper out of old copper mine. Capacity of the ride is 600 guests per hour. Waiting time at a busy day should be 20 minutes with a pre-show presentation and the 6 to 8 minutes ride. Once the ride is over, the guests are moving to the copper field opposite the copper mine and they will dig into a mountain of stones to find their own copper stone. From this copper stone, they will be able to make their own copper coin out of pure copper from a special design machine made only for Mythos theme park and with a cost of 2 euros per coin. Now we are moving to the semi-wet playground where Asian pirates with their old pirate ships are fighting the Cypriots and throwing water from old cannons and the Cypriots must fight back. In this attraction, all the guests are getting wet and fresh and in an interactive playground, the adrenaline goes up as well the fun and the laugh. In a site of the shipwreck in the same area, there is an exhibition with old swords, guns and clothes as well articles belonging to old pirates. For the parents and kids, there is also a special design open themed cafe serving ice cream, crepes, beverages, water fresh made juices and light snacks. Capacity is for 800 guests per hour, no waiting time and approximately one hour spending time for the kids. Phobos and Scary House of Illusion A special unique attraction since only three same attractions similar to the ones operated in our park are used in European theme parks. Guests wearing a special helmet with a mirror in front of their eyes will walk into a dark scary room full of insects, snakes and other artificial animals and obstacles hanging from the roof and will experience horror and phobia in a funny way until they make their way out. Capacity 400 guests and 3-5 minutes walking through. Mediterranean sailing experience. This attraction is a coin operated attraction with guests sailing with remote control old boats around the Mediterranean islands and with a facility to shoot water on the other boats sailing by winning prizes and extra time once finding the right target. Capacity 180 guests per hour and it's a 3 minute sailing and the cost per game is 2 euros. Jason's Adventure Flume Ride We are now approaching one of the main rides of Mythos Theme Park. Jason Adventure Flume Ride It's a 250 meters long sailing in a special made Asian boats Four guests in each boat and 12 boats all together sailing in an animated river with special effects and sounds and an interactive ride with two drops 
where the boats are falling straight into the water, ending up in a big splash and getting wet and fresh. There is also a pre-show explaining the Jason's adventure through a video presentation while guests are waiting for the ride. Capacity 650 guests per hour and the ride time 5 minutes approximately. Path of Aphrodite Cave At a specially decorated cave, exactly the same like the Baths of Aphrodite Cave just a few kilometers away, the guests will be sitting in special seats in an ancient Greek ship enjoying a 25-minute live show with music and dance entertainment as well magician's show performed every one hour. Water Fortress Game Another refreshing attraction where guests are having a water war between each other in front of windows that are closing an opening in an interactive game. Odysseus Adventure Ride We are moving to another major ride of Mythos Theme Park. Here guests are sailing with ancient boats, eight persons per boat, slowly and safely through a river channel 45 centimeters deep, 250 meters long, and through rock caves and open spaces fully animated and with special sounds and lights and water effects and animated figures that Odysseus met on his journey back to Ithaki. The center of this attraction will be when the boats will be approaching the whirlpool and sounds and special water effects will give a lifetime experience to the guests. Capacity 750 guests per hour, with a 10 minute sailing and an interesting pre-show presentation going through the life of Odysseus as well as his journey back to Ithaki. Now it's time to move to an area of the theme park that can be used as a different profit center both during the day and the night operation. The Mythos Multimedia Show is an attraction where guests will be entering as a group and standing in a specially designed Old Castle Arena and they will experience a show regarding the history of Cyprus through the ancient times until the modern times. This will be done through 3D projectors, special sound effects, special films, animated figures and a live show from actors. Capacity 400 guests per hour. It will be a 20 minute show and it can be sold as well to visitors that are not interested to go through the attraction rides in the park or even to be used as a presentation for prime events and marketing different products mostly sold by the tour operators. Troy Water Battle We are now approaching the first part, which is the water war game by throwing water-filled balloons via Asian specially made chariots and using the Asian ballista way. The guests are buying the baggage full with balloons with water at a cost of 1 euro per baggage. A classical dry playground with an interactive physical attraction, indoor and outdoor, with a scenery of the historical Troy horse at a safe playground where kids will be playing by climbing, jumping and running up and down, going through dark slides and different obstacles that will give them the experience of being part of the Battle of Troy with the Asian heroes Achilles and Hector. Salamis Amphitheatre, stage and old marketplace, souvenir shops. With a capacity of 700 seated guests, the Salamis Amphitheatre will be used and managed by a professional entertainment expert who will produce different kind of shows and musicals, theatres and operas with experienced actors and these shows will be produced and performed daily, two shows during the daytime and the special show for the night event that will be sold by tour operators and the park. The tickets for the night special event can include only the multimedia show and the show at the amphitheater for an indicative price of 25 to 30 euros per guest and also it can include a festive traditional Cyprus dinner for 50 euros per guest at the restaurant of a theme park which will be specially themed and the services, the servers will be dressed with themed clothes. The guests during their day or night visit can buy from the marketplace souvenirs, shops, all kinds of handicrafts, local specialities that can be produced from the local community and different products that will be produced specially for the theme park. 
Of course, the mascots of the theme park will be printed on a kind of special items and souvenirs that will be sold from the shops. We must say that as management, we are very interested for the environment. This is why a water treatment station for the water is going to be used and all the water used in the park will be recycled. As well, we're going to use the energy from the sun and we will make sure that it is 100% safe for all the kids and the people in the park. Welcome and we hope to see you soon at an operated first theme park.